New changes snuff out rural fire departments. That's the concern from some Vermont fire officials about new rules from the feds. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, proposed sweeping changes to departments nationwide, changing what they call emergency response standards for firefighters. Our Haley Morgan joins us now in the studio to tell us why local firefighters are sounding the alarm. Haley. These rules are focused on firefighting training, personal protective equipment, and health and safety requirements. But officials tell me the state likely doesn't have the resources or the money to accommodate major changes. Vermont fire departments are asking OSHA to reconsider new proposed rules. It's about safety, it's about health, it's about having quality equipment, protecting your firefighters, but there's a significant price tag associated with uh, these new rules. Bristol Fire Department Chief Brett LaRose says his department's budget is already stretched thin and he's worried. With the new regulations, his job and the Bristol Fire Department altogether could be in jeopardy. The requirements that would be placed upon the fire chief um, would be so great that I would not be able to fulfill them all. But the reality is, I think many small communities, Bristol included, may not be able to afford uh, to comply with these new rules. What OSHA calls its emergency response standards haven't been updated since the 80s. The federal agency has prepared a more than 600 page document outlining potential changes. It includes additional training, costly biannual physical exams, added staff and updated equipment. The president of the Vermont State Firefighters Association says the proposed Proposed rules may not bode well for many of the state's small volunteer operations. Fire departments will continue to operate as they are, and then if something goes wrong, there'll be fines from OSHA. That would be my take on it. Or the fire departments will cease to exist altogether. Most departments, their their budget is going to at least double. The Vermont State Firefighters Association is encouraging every fire station in the state to look over the rules and submit a comment on what they think may work and may not work. The comment period ends on July 22nd. Live in the studio, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.